Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. As we're getting started here, I just wanted to give a quick reminder for you guys to please like this video. Make sure you leave me a comment and definitely subscribe if you want to see more. But either way, I hope you guys enjoy watching me play Red Dead Redemption for the first time. Oh wait. Are you the bad guy? You are now. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I got myself involved in something I shouldn't have. Okay. So, yeah, my waypoint is still on Seth. Who knows where on earth it dropped me, though. Whenever you die, it just kind of drops you in the middle of nowhere. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Yeah. Don't take me the long way around to see him. Oh, here's the church. Look like there's too much to see around here, so let's just see if we can go in. Seth? Are you here? There he is. He's outside, uh, hang on. I steal from the church? Get up, John. Is there money in the box? Yeah. Deadly assassin? What? Not sure what I did, but... Um, can I go this way? Yeah. All right, here we go. Thief. Well, I just stole from him, I guess. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston, John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We. Oui. Need your help, me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair Ooh. falling out, my mind's going. I mean, you can wash what anywhere, happened? dude. What happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Oh. Never! Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. Moses. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man. And what I would do to him now. Okay. Why? Because he stole half my map. <laughs> and what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. You're talking in circles. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people. They feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. So he's like you? That's. Well, come on, Seth. Pretty scary. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Why not? 
Wow. This guy's insane. Over here. There, there. Can't be that broke. You got yourself a nice horse. Yeah. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, hypocrite. The whole lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These That's people true. been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. You're Focus special. Cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. Yeah. Fly! Fly! Have you looked in the cave, Seth? <laughs> it's very dark. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just uh... heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, yeah. I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know yeah, Bill? Yeah, you know oh, him. Yes. I met Williamson and Deke and all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who will do things most other fellers won't. Now, Set. that I can believe. I Why do you keep you get in there? No speeding bump. up and slowing down? It's annoying. <sighs> Going as fast as you are. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I oh, thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good uh, riddance to them all. I don't eat, oh. I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. Yeah, it used bet. to be about the money, but now I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me. You know? <laughs> Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no crazy. difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight jacket. You are crazy, man. All right, this is it. Let's All stop right. here a moment and come up with a plan. Do you need him alive? Because I'm as good at killing. No, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a I'm sure I can think of something. <laughs> hmm. away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Okay. Oh. I've been trying not to become wanted. Oh. Are you looking for trouble, mister? Yeah. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Your horse is crap, Sheriff. Uh. 
I don't know where I need to go though. Do I need to go back over towards Seth? Or like just keep trying to. Alright. So I'm not wanted anymore. But I do have a bounty, so now I gotta go find Seth. Can I pay my bounty somewhere? I've been trying real hard not to get wanted the whole game, and then it's like, yeah, just steal a horse. You'll be fine. Let's go. And here's this horse I stole just wandering back into town. Where is Seth? Uh... Oh, here he is. I'm here. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep that was scary. They come back. Oh, brother. You haven't even talked to the guy yet? Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the away from me! Oh, brother. Get that slippery! I need him alive, though! Okay. Just leave me alone! Where is he? So. Get away from me! <laughs> this ain't none of your business. I don't know how to lasso. Yeah. Don't trust Seth. He's sick in the mind. Okay, I think I got it. Get loose, mister. <laughs> it's just strange to me that uh, the lasso is like the same your as your price. weapon. Buster. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Yeah, I can tell, but who do you think you are, mister? The name's Marston. John Marston. How's this guy not flop right off What's the back of the horse? Give you double. Seth did sell his own mother. Seth, where are you? Seth. We'll split it between us, just me and you. Seth? Found him. Moses, you son of a... Where's my... map? Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you... Ah! Then I'm gonna... 
cut you up piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy yeah. in the sun. Yeah, you better Just tell him. You take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never cut into a uh, live uh, one before. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, odd, oh, odd oh, oh. It's an odd oh. fellow's rest. Uh, get away oh. from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a shame? I was starting to enjoy myself. Uh -oh. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> it's just sweat. Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. I know. Let's clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, Sweet. take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Can I have my rope back? Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Best we deal with this now, mister. Wait. Oh, am I just staying with Seth? Got a pardon letter here. Go you on, then you can clear it up at that. Like mm -hmm. me, I'll be seeing you again. Oh, that only did that uh. Crazy Mary, swear what did that she's say? seen treasures in the tumbleweed mansion basement. So, oh, I got my mister, death. thanks for your help. You're welcome. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, yep. mister. All right, I feel like we've made some pretty good progress so far. There's a stranger over here. Um, uh, is it you? Inside? <laughs> My God, sir, would you look at you? Uh, rude. Face. Oh, wonderful. Marvelous. My, my, take a look at you. When you take a look at you, I've you look seen like myself. you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you say. Cold. Tough, but with a heart of gold, the cowboy sings his lonely song. What's wrong with like, you? Like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies <laughs> back east. Uh-oh. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. <laughs> now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Jimmy Saint, Jimmy sir, Saint. Yeah, I remember you. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> what are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh-so-witty and oh-so-pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after, and action I'm gonna find, too. <laughs> Wild men, mm, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. <laughs> Ticketmaster is just as nosy as can be. Life. <laughs> All right, talk to the funny man. So now what do we need to do? Did he actually have a mission? Hola. Hola. Si. Hola. <laughs> Hola. I don't... Oh. 
I didn't want to drive. I wanted to get in. Oh, son of a... Running right into him. Stop it! Did I just say something about, like, what if I accidentally... Like, accidentally commit a crime? Am I out of trouble? Alright. I think I'm out of trouble. Another stranger? Beautiful. Another sentient being out here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. But anyway, that's the name they gave my grandpappy when he came across New York City. Oh. Good to meet you, Sam Odessa. I'm John Marston. You long way from home? Where you come from? Yeah, well, it would be if I had a home to come from. I've been out here for several weeks or several generations, I guess. Would have made better time, but my horse. Came up lame a ways back. Aww. Trying to get to California. See the ocean. I hear it's wet. <laughs> Funny man. From the Black Sea to the Pacific in three generations. I'm gonna wow. make something of myself there. I'm gonna find something. At least you got, got a plan. got a fine line of earthquakes out there. Yep. Maybe you can find one of them. <laughs> Listen, Gap Tooth ain't so friendly to strangers. I suggest you head back to Benedict Point before you run afoul one of these gangs that runs out of here. Yeah, I've been wanted twice. Well, thank you very much for the kind advice, Mr. Marston. I appreciate it. Let me I'll go get me on a coach. Nice. <laughs> okay. So it looks like it's coming on too dark here. Let's see if we can set up a uh, a campfire. Kind of get to the next day. Pass some time. We can actually probably just go straight back into town. I know Bonnie has a mission. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go see Bonnie again. See what else she has for us. I like how some of these strangers don't even necessarily have a mission. You're just kind of talking to them to see what's going on in that in that world, you know? Um, which one is? I don't. I don't want to do a mission yet. It's too too dark for that. So I want to go. To my house first. All right, let's hitch up here, take another sleep, get it to daylight, and then we'll be ready to take on another mission. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. If you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. And be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh.